guys, so today we're gonna be checking out Next Level's simulator racing stand called the GT Lite. So you guys probably noticed already we have two stands here together, which the other one here is called the F GT Lite. So this is the previous version, and this is the newer, more budget version. So there are some differences between the two, and it's mostly adjustability. So depending on what you're in the market for, hopefully this video here will help you decide if you want the F GT Lite or just the GT Lite. So on the F GT Lite, we have the G920 Logitech steering wheel and pedal set with shifter installed on it and that's what we've been using so let's start here with the backrest so we have similar materials on both as you guys can see now one pretty large difference is the FGT light is a little bit taller and this one's shorter another pretty big difference and this is going to be the main difference between the two is there's a lot more adjustability on the FGT light so here you can see that extra bar here that folds over and this is one of the reasons why it's taller also but the GT light just is a hard point and there's no folding of any kind here so it does come apart here where we assembled it but you know that's about it now going down we can see there's more adjustability here and that's to adjust this part here to fold in and out so you can get you know a different kind of setup where if you want your chair to really go down low you can you know bring this out and kind of really lean back but on the GT light here we don't have anything we just have this main corner here and then a locking latch and this just helps it keep it all together until you need to fold it away. So on the FGT light, we have a see-through mesh going all the way down to the bottom of the seat with some bolstering here on each side. On the GT light, we have the bolstering and it's see-through on the back, but not on the sitting area. So I'm not sure if the FGT light would be better for more comfort over time, or maybe this would be better for longer life and durability, but yeah, that's the differences there. Now going more to the front, which we have the same kind of swiveling locking mechanism, that opens up and then you swivel it away to get in and then once you get in you close it and start playing and you guys can see how that works we just kind of routed our wires around here but yeah it's the same thing here just release this and then you go inside close it back up so the shifters are identical on both and you can put it on the left or right side you know depending on where you live and here on the GT light you can see the extra bracket here to change the shifter to this side same thing on the other one and the main plate here for the steering wheel is also exactly the same on both models now going to the pedal set it is a bit different here on the GT light just the way it comes like this you can flip this bracket over here upside down where it's laying flat and so if you wanted that you could adjust it but we find it a little more comfortable when it's on an incline but here on the FGT light we have adjustments to go up down or you know anywhere we want higher or lower so a little more adjusting and that's basically the main difference between the two the FGT GT is a little bit bigger while the GT light here is a little smaller and only in the vertical position but as far as the width they're very similar and everything else so yeah I'm not gonna talk about the FGT light anymore we do have a video where we unboxed it and set it up so if you're interested in the FGT light we'll have a link up here somewhere so check it out all right so for the GT light here we're gonna be using the G923 from Logitech with the pedal set so mounting this is quite simple next level did include all the hardware you need to mount it to this plate and it works perfectly with this wheel or the older models the G920 and the G29 so yeah it's quite simple simple it sits on here and then a couple bolts line up and then you tighten it from the bottom and we can still use these factory clamps here to clamp to the bottom of the plate underneath so and that's it our wheel is on so now we just got to put in the pedal set and you guys can see there's six mountings and they're gonna fit between these two brackets so just like that got the six bolts so now we can just set it down and here we can adjust it on the rails here to get closer and farther away so and once you have them where you want, you just clamp it down and it won't move. So yeah, very easy installation and nothing too complicated here. All right, so since this is the PlayStation version of the steering wheel, and by the way, you can get it in both versions, we do have a PlayStation 5 here that we're gonna use. And even though Gran Turismo 7 is not out yet, we do have the Sport, so we'll be playing that. All right, so yeah, we are fortunate enough to have both here. We got the Series X over here, and that's what we were playing with the FGT light there. So let's borrow the HDMI cable, and we'll plug it into the Sony. So then we just need to connect our USB to the wheel, into the console, and also plug in the power, and we should be ready to go. Now, obviously you can, you know, tuck these wires away nicely and, you know, route them kind of like I did over here. But for now, we're just gonna leave them like that, and let's go ahead and turn everything on. And the wheel starts moving because they do interact and there we go so you can use the steering wheel buttons here to navigate go ahead and choose Gran Turismo and push play 
All right, so we got Marcus with us and he's gonna demonstrate here of how to get in into this GT Lite. So you gotta unclip the clipper and then you move it to the side. Then you get inside. And then you clip it back on. So yeah, you guys can see Marcus is what? He's almost 10 and he's like four foot something. So yeah, you guys can see the chair is pretty large so it would work great for adults or teenagers. All right, so the next thing we need to do is adjust the pedal so it looks like he needs them closer. We're gonna move him forward here. Go ahead and try it out. All right, so good right there. So we're just gonna clamp it down. So we're gonna clamp both sides and that's gonna make it really still. So you don't have to use the clutch today since we don't have a clutch at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, it looks like it's all good. All right, we'll fire that thing up and let's see. So this is our first time using the PlayStation 5 here with a steering wheel. So it's kind of exciting. Looks like Marcus picked an M4. So it looks like our lights are working on the wheel. So that's nice. But yeah, he's playing it. And I don't know if you guys can hear, but the true force is making some vibrations. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's a pretty nice little setup here. And if you are on a budget, the GT Lite here really does the trick. All right guys, so this is the GT Lite by Next Level Racing. So this is a great way to get into sim racing, especially if you're on a budget and you wanna have a complete simulator with pretty much everything you would need to you know, get going, then this could be a pretty good option. Now the FGT Lite here does offer a little bit more adjustability and the price is not a huge difference between that and this. They're both on the budget side. So depending on what you're looking for and how much you're willing to spend, you might wanna go for the FGT Lite. But they're both equal in how they feel, you know, how sturdy they are because they do use the same kind of frame and system. So, but overall, surprisingly, they're very solid and you get really good feedback. So if you want to see in more in-depth video, the FGT Lite here has the full assembly and a little bit more details about the frame and things like that. So go check that video out. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to pick one up for yourself, either one, I'll have some links in the description. Check it out. Also, check out my other simulator videos. We have quite a few stands that we reviewed. And also, there's another stand coming up here soon that's quite interesting, so stay tuned for that. And also, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.